Because uh, actually, we're going to need to hit two Walmarts. I'm going to need to hit one to get a blue smock. <laughs> yeah, Chester, uh, we're going to need another one. Chesterfield County Colonial Hearts Heights. Colonial Heights. Where is that? Is that in Missouri? It's in Virginia. It? Oh, oh, it's, it's Virginia. Virginia. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. I thought it was. I saw oh, the Chesterfield, and I thought it was local. I was hoping that there was going to be a Walmart around where I could get hooked well, up. Well, let's, let's face it, Freeze. If anybody was going to be doing that, it would have to be you because you have to blend in with most of the workers. Oh, wow. I'm I racist. Don't I, don't yeah. know, <laughs> I don't know if That's he means. That's Ferguson Walmart. Oh. oh. I thought that was the one they tried to burn down. <laughs> Apparently <laughs> didn't succeed. Oh, well, wow. Wow. Yeah. Hey, they did a number on that QT, though. <laughs> okay, so last. Last stuff I have. <laughs> Sorry. Last stuff I have on the news, and this one. No, nope, you know, fresh new history. We can't call it the news. Uh, fresh new history. Look at yeah. this. And this you, one, look, I, got so I enjoy because I, you know, I like my conspiracies. Okay. Oh god. Yeah, we 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 know. Yeah, we know. Flat Earther. <laughs> there is a there is apparently a reasonable conspiracy theory claim that Katy Perry <gasps> is John Benet Ramsey. Uh, you know what? Somebody said something to me about, not to me, but like I overheard Did this you say conversation. Reasonable conspiracy? Yeah, that's There's that was a reasonable. Conspiracy. That was the question I had. That's yeah. where I landed on that. <laughs> Katy Perry is Jean Benet Ramsey. Yeah, basically Jean Benet was not killed, and they faked her death. So, so that she that, could become Katy Perry? So that she could become Katy Perry in so many words, yeah. Well, you know, I will say this. Katy Perry is a natural blonde. I feel like she got fucked on that deal. <laughs> like, I feel like. The trade-off was not worth it. Sorry, Look I'm not where a big Katy Kate. Perry is now. Where is Katy Perry now? She's where, where is he making more where? money than God? Well, according to the the conspiracy, uh, I know. Oh, and there and there's a picture. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Jean Benet Ramsey is alive. She's Katy Perry. Oh, no. So wait, does that mean that Lady Gaga is that bitch from the Hunger Games? <laughs> Mid the odds. I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're talking about childhood people that have disappeared <laughs> and have come back as celebrities. Oh, God, who the fuck was Kanye? A job not done well. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's. You know what? We what need, a job we that need was to start. Not finished. You know how they have those those com those those campaigns and those things like where you know like free this person and free that person. I'm gonna start a campaign to lock up Kanye. <laughs> you see, and I thought about this one for our next Crazy Eights to yeah. do something like um, talentless uh, celebrities. Oh, talentless oh. celebrities. I God, like that. We, we would need to have like a mega sixteen one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We we might have to go Billboard top hundred on this bitch. <laughs> There's a lot we're of gonna, talent. We'd have to go with like a full on NCAA tournament sixty four okay. style. You know what? You know what? Pull out the pull out your bracketer. Your your your. your Whoa, that, is that what he calls thing. it now? Yeah, the, pull out your bracketer. You we're gonna go to ahead and, and name bracketer. out some. Yes, pull out your bracketer. We're gonna go ahead and throw out some talent list. No, 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 not celebrity. today, not no, today, no, no, no. no, no, no we gotta no, wait. No. We, we gotta, gotta wait. wait. You, you can write wait. that shit down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm voting for Kanye right now. Oh, well, see, Kanye's, Kanye's already probably gonna on win. the list. He's probably gonna win. <laughs> right to win the championship. <laughs> I'm calling it right. I don't now. know, but who's who's who is less talented, Kim Kardashian or Kanye West? Kim Kardashian at least has an ass. Now I know that that doesn't. That's matter. not talent. It's not talent, but it's certainly more pleasant to look at than Kanye's horse-looking face doing the nothing. The Beaver. But what? Justin Bieber. Um, don't you ever say that name in my house again. Hey, we're, we're talking about talentless acts, okay? That you will refer to him as the little blonde girl child. The little blonde girl child? Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, what else we got? Well, we got at least three on them. <laughs> uh, that's all I have on the news. Uh, on the uh, fresh new history. Yay! Uh. Now, check this out. If we were doing the normal one-hour show, we're already four minutes over schedule. But since we're doing a two-hour show, we actually have 56 minutes left. See how that works? That's very true. It and is beautiful. Now, Ed, I have to ask right. you a favor, sir. Are you a sports fan? Yeah. Yep, Ed. Yes. Thank and God! That's it. Finally! Oh, look. Somebody likes sports in here but me! Thank you, Jesus! And, Ed, oh, we, we what like is your favorite sports. sport? Hockey! Oh, baby. Oh, here we go. You got it keyed up. Please here tell me you go. got the here, horn keyed up. Here we go. And. Blues hockey. Yes. 
See, Freeze asked me to t- Freeze asked me to knock it down a little bit. I did. A little, I, I, I asked him to to I, to not extend the 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 you. It and was booze. just. But it was just ten seconds. It, <laughs> the longest ten you seconds of your it, life. You sustained it like you were holding the final note of the national anthem <laughs> at the Super Bowl. Yeah, if I would have been singing it, it would have been over two minutes yeah, and twenty seconds. That's <laughs> that sounded like Charles Glenn over there. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> So, the Average Joe Sports Report brought to you by Andrew Grass right here on It Is What It Is, the Zero G Network. All right. Little Blues hockey. The Blues last night lost their third game in a row, Mm. got their asses handed to them by the Mm. score of five to nothing. Mm. Jake Allen played in his third game in a row coming off of injured reserve, and Nashville Predator forward Philippe Forsberg scored a hat trick, but not just any hat trick, a natural hat trick. Where he scored three goals in a row. Oh wow! Do you know what a, do you know what a hat trick is? Do you understand? I didn't know that there was a difference between them. I assume, well, I assume that a hat trick was three goals. In well, a, row. A, a basic hat hat trick means that you scored three goals in a game. It oh, could. okay. Now, if you scored like your first goal and then two other guys scored goals and then you and then you scored the final two, that is not a natural hat trick. Oh. A natural hat trick means you scored three goals. The the you know three goals in a row. Ah, yeah. It's kind of rare. It's I mean it, not kind of rare. It's about as rare as somebody stealing home. In, okay. uh, in baseball. Fair, fair enough. Which is pretty fair damn enough. rare. Yeah. Right. Rare, rare. It was a brutal, brutal game. Now, this has been a really, really bad week for the Blues, not only for the fact what that I they hear. lost three in a row after a five-game winning streak, but the Blues have now lost Jory Laterra, who was hit in the face by a puck in Thursday's 2-1 to one loss uh, to the New York Rangers. They have mm. lost star goaltender Brian Elliott with a lower body injury this past Monday night against the Sharks. And... The, arguably one of the best two-way forwards in the game with Alexander Steen, who's out four weeks uh, with an upper body injury slash left arm, left shoulder oh, that uh, he injured last Saturday night to the injured reserve. Uh. Now, there is a little bit of good news, though. Alex Petrangelo is making his way back to the lineup tonight in Carolina against those dastardly Hurricanes. Mm. What do you feel about them, Blues, man? Hey, put, put the mic in front of him, Phil. You're not going to say anything right now. Ah, uh-huh, anyway. that's messed up. <laughs> He's like, this is sports talk. You've got yeah. nothing. <laughs> I love my blues. Um, I haven't been following him as much as I should. Then That's you okay. don't love your blues. No, he loves the blues. <laughs> Shut the hell up, Freeze. Hey, I wear my jersey during the summer. There you go. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I wear my Cardinal jersey during the winter. What does that mean? Oh, look at that. Blazing into the studio. It is the agent, my, 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 my dude, Alan Williams. Say say hello real loud or something because we're, we're mic'd out kind of funny in here. Yeah, we are mic'd out. You have walked right into the middle of the average Joe sports report. Andrew is going to punch you in the balls now. I'm not going to punch him in the balls. I don't hate him enough. Fifty to really... bucks, punch him in the balls. Oh, you watch out! <laughs> <laughs> Throw don't the make, money on the table. <laughs> don't make promises you can't keep, dude. Don't make promises. Wow. The so that I, that I lost you guys. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. Well, that's, that's nothing you know new. That, that <laughs> we are coming in tight. Hey, 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 oh, hey. Down, down, down. LeBron's getting all up in your face. <laughs> right. He looked like he, he looked like he was trying to forcefully have uh, right. oral he sex with you, buddy. He saw the big black ball. Oh, <laughs> he's used to it, huh? How about this? Uh, the Blues, even with the losses this past week, have the, still have the fourth best record, or at least the fourth most amount of points in the NHL, with 79. They have a record overall of 35, 20, and 9, with 18 games left of the season, only seven home games, and 11 away games, including a mammoth five-game road trip from March 12th to March 22nd. Now, Blues general manager Doug Armstrong completed a massive, well, I'm lying. It wasn't a massive trade. He did create. He did uh, complete a trade this week. Armstrong traded 23-year-old minor league ECHL goalie Nicholas Lindstrom. Or, I'm sorry, Nicholas Lundstrom. Lindstrom was a great defenseman for those bastard-ass Detroit Red Wings. Anyway, to the Edmonton Oilers for goalie Anders Nilsson. Andrews has played in 49 NHL games, making 44 starts, and has compiled a career record of 19, 21, and 4 with a 3.10 goals against average and a 9-10 save percentage. He's got experience in the NHL. He's represented Sweden at the Ice Hockey World Championship in 2014, and he's got experience in the KHL, essentially the NHL for Russia. I don't know. I don't even know what KHL is. Isn't like Constantinople League or, 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 or some, some sort of effed up kind of kind of russian word 
off the top of my head, I have no clue. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, Continental. Continental Hockey League. That's what it is. But it's it's like it's spelled with a K instead of a C because those Russians don't use a C. That's what I was going to ask. Oh, yeah. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Continental with a K. Um, now he, bastards. He's exactly those con- – you commie bastards. Uh, now, he was originally signed to the Chicago Wolves of the AHL when he was when the trade was completed, but was recalled to the Blues last night after the Blues' blowout loss to the Nashville Predators. Speaking – of trades 20 years ago today was arguably one of the greatest sports trades in the history of st louis athletics you know it you know it ed is shaking his head yes because he knows what i'm gonna say the great one wayne gretzky became a blue a st louis blue and how long did he remain a blue? Uh, about five minutes. About 140 days. He was here for a cup of coffee. <laughs> he and said a about 100 minutes. <laughs> Gretzky was traded from the Los Angeles Kings to the St. Louis Blues for Roman Vopat, Craig Johnson, Ooh. Patrice Tardif, a first round pick, and a fifth round pick as well. Ah. So, yeah, and he only stayed with us just for the rest of the year because Mike Keenan is a dirty piece of shit. <laughs> All pieces of shit are dirty, but he's an especially dirty piece of shit. If I could find him, I'd kick him in the nets. I was just, I was just laughing because I know that we're enjoying the hell out of this explicit tag. Like well, if, if we hate somebody, we can just be like, "Hey, fuck you!" Right? <laughs> like, you suck. <laughs> Jump up your own ass and die. There you go. I actually miss Quinville. Wait, wait say that too. again. He misses, he misses Joel Quinville, who was, um, the, who was the who was formerly the Blues head coach for a long time, and then he went to the Chicago Blackhawks and won two Stanley Cups. Oh, loser. <laughs> no, he's a winner. He's a winner. He's a winner. The Blues are the You never win when you go to Chicago. Oh. Except for him. Whoa. Hey. Wait, you have to, don't you have to be a Cub to fit that criteria? That's true. <laughs> and that's a great segue to our baseball talk today. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of those, those Cubs who like to cub it up every year, Dexter Fowler agreed to go back to the Chicago Cubs. Uh, he was a free agent after last season. Idiot. Uh, after it was reported that the Baltimore Orioles, or formerly the St. Louis Browns, had locked him up with a three-year, $35 million deal. However, there are many reports out that the reason the deal fell apart at the last minute was because Fowler insisted on an opt-out clause after the first year of the contract. He has ended up signing with the Cubs for a one-year deal for $8 million with – a second year mutual option for nine, but if they don't do the mutual option, they have to pay him five million bucks. Uh, so let me break it down. If they don't sign him, he makes thirteen million dollars. Wait. Yep. He makes what if they if don't. they don't pick up his second year. He Are makes five million dollars just for not I have never, You need to play baseball. I've never had a job where if they don't like promote me or retain <laughs> me that they'll still give me. Can I make that happen? No. That, no. They, uh, you aren't important enough. Apparently. Hey, and Dexter Fowler's black, too, so he's really got the power. Oh. He really does. He does. Now, all, now the really sad part, well, I, I'd say there's a number of sad parts, especially the fact that the Cubs got another pretty good bat. Um, he actually gave up. <laughs> wait, wait, when you say pretty good bat, like just the one, like everybody gets to use it? Or <laughs> <laughs> You bastard. <laughs> he, had, he had 17 home runs last year, had a 346 on base percentage. Five of like them were hit at home playing with his kid. Yeah, probably. <laughs> now, the thing is, he actually, when uh, when he became a free agent, uh, he was given a, uh, a qualifying offer from the Cubs so that if he did sign somewhere else, they'd have to give a, a first-round pick for him. Yeah. He actually ended up losing. The, the qualifying uh, amount, though, was close to $16 million. So he lost just a little bit under $3 million bucks. Just because he wanted to try and test the market. Oh, yep, three million. But he got to keep what? Uh, Thirteen. Uh, yeah, okay. and possibly more. Yeah. It could could be uh, seventeen over two years. Find it kind of hard to whine for him. Yeah, you said hard. <laughs> uh, speaking of that, <laughs> Pete Rose. We all know who Pete Rose is. Who Pete Rose? Is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He he's that guy in the WWE, right? <laughs> He actually is in the WWE <laughs> yeah, Hall of Fame. Yes, he yeah, is. Yeah, a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, he gets to tombstoned <laughs> every WrestleMania. He by sure does Kane. Seem to. Yeah, Wasn't yeah, it? By Kane. By Kane. It's yeah. always yeah. by Kane. <laughs> so Pete Rose agreed to a lifetime ban from baseball and also which caused his banning from the Hall of Fame for life uh, in 1989. Right. Vince Scully, <laughs> longtime announcer for the Los Angeles Dodgers, recently went on record with uh, AAR, but from an AARP article. <laughs> Uh, I know. I find the weirdest <laughs> sports stories, don't I? Uh, Scully was asked, and keep in mind, Vince Scully is, you know, like 
eighty something years old. He has been he's he's been with the Dodgers so long. They were the Brooklyn Dodgers when he started announcing for them. Okay, so since the fifties. You do the math. I'm not going to. Uh, now, I'm Scott. Not doing-